Okay guys, at first, this is a default settings of our APS-300 Delta Inverter. How to use? The simple KB tricks. This is the run. And this is the stop. Next, how to change parameter using this K matrix. For example, enter to change motor direction forward or reverse the parameter is 0 0 does 23 and the seating number number 1 is reverse and number 2 is forward to enter the parameter use this enter button there is a 0 0 already enter again now press upward to find the number 23 0023 okay 0023 and the seating number to change the motor directions the seating is number one is the reverse direction the seating is number two is the forward direction so we need to use the forward direction so we need to disable the reverse direction so we choose number one to disable the reverse direction and plus enter to end the setup to return the normal screen mode Freeze mode, freeze mode again. So be there already. The screen mode. Now we try to turn on our forward direction. So forward direction is going rightward. Okay. So our motor is now in forward direction. So this is the sample how to change the parameters so okay we proceed to the next steps the function code number start from 00 does 00, 00 up to 14 does 37 the factory default settings is internal control using run key matrix and the stop key but we have a choice to change into external control using push button or selector switch to change external control we need to open this inverter the front panel we need to find the DCF terminal the DCF terminal and the M1 and M2 terminal the M1 terminal is the reverse terminal and the M2 terminal is the forward terminal before doing that we need to change the inverter parameter to make external control to make it change into external control now we need to enter parameter 00 does 23 to enable the forward and reverse direction zero zero does three enable 
the forward reverse direction. The seating number of the forward reverse direction to enable is zero. Now, enter to end the setup. Next, proceed to parameter 00-21 to change external terminals. Okay, 00-21. The seating numbers. Zero zero twenty one to change external terminals. So the seating number to change the external terminals is settings number one. So settings number one is, is the external terminal. Press enter to end the setup. Okay, and now going back to the normal mode to the screen. Okay. We need to insert a wire from the CM terminal to switch M1 and M2. M1 is the reverse terminal, M2 is the forward terminal. The external parameter setup is finished. So we need to put the wires here in DCM terminal. From DCM terminal, we touch this wire to the M2 to turn the motor in forward direction so okay we touch the aim to now so now our motor is turning into forward direction to remove this connection is to turn off the forward direction terminal to touch this wire from DCM to M1 is to turn on the reverse direction terminal okay the reverse direction terminal this is to turn off so it is better to use in series connection series connection of post photon switch one normally open switch and one normally close switch to turn on and to turn off the DCM connection to M2 connection or to M1 connection, it means the forward and reverse terminal, M1 and M2. So you can only choose what direction is you want. You can adjust your motor speed here. Higher up to 600 hertz. Higher up to 600 hertz. Higher up to 600 hertz. Okay.
if you want to use this potentiometer knob enter parameter 0020 0 0 20 0 0 20 enter settings number 7 is to use this potentiometer knob enter to finish the setup Now we are using the potentiometer knob so we can decrease the speed here or increase the speed so no more speed in zero zero so we adjust more speed until the maximum speed of 600 hertz okay 600 hertz or down to zero down to zero back to digital keypad control speed enter again zero zero that's twenty the setting number the setting number is zero enter to end the setup return normal return to normal mode okay we are now in the digital control of the speed.